As a medical student and resident, I had a wonderful infectious disease mentor who introduced me to colleagues of his at the Peace Corps headquarters in Washington, D.C., where I was kind of introduced to the world of infectious disease epidemiology by people who were incredibly committed uh, to making a difference uh, in the world. And then when I came to Yale for my infectious disease training, I was welcomed into a research lab that was focused again on parasitic worms and neglected tropical diseases. And I think at each of those points, my mentors really helped me crystallize in my mind why it was important to work on diseases that are endemic in some of the poorest parts of the world, and, and also how research can actually make a difference and help to improve the lives of people who are at risk of acquiring those infections. What I think is, is perhaps most impressive about the scope of research that's happening in EMD is that it focuses on important infections that are occurring literally around the corner to what's happening on the other side of the world. And all of these people are working together and in close proximity, and they're sharing their, their wisdom and their expertise, and all the while they're mentoring students. And one of the things that our department, that EMD certainly is known for, is not just the ability to do cutting edge research, but also hands-on, intensely mentored research experience to sort of fill in that next generation of uh, research leaders. Our faculty have made important contributions in understanding the transmission of the virus, in developing new ways of diagnosing infection, in ways of tracking transmission through genomics, to modeling the impact of vaccination and other control measures. Through EMD faculty, we've led the contact tracing program both locally as well as uh, for the state. We co-chaired the uh, governor's commission that essentially helped to advise on the state of Connecticut's response. And so I really can say with confidence that there's not a single unit on campus that has had a, a more positive impact in helping to guide the response in an evidence-based and responsible way than EMD, and frankly, has saved lives. One of the things that was made very clear from the pandemic was the need for a larger, more capable public health workforce that can predict, respond to, and ultimately prevent the next infectious disease epidemic. It's a perfect time for people interested in public health to consider pursuing training in infectious disease epidemiology.